No need to fail. First. Buffalo, Buffalo Riders. Buffalo Riders. Okay, and you are? <laughs> Greg. And what do you play? I play guitar. Fantastic. I'm John and I'm lead vocals and harmonica. Yes. I'm Mark, I play guitar. I'm Ben. I play bass. I'm like Bez from the Happy Monday. <laughs> <laughs> You're the dancer. Uh, I'm, right. dancer. <laughs> I'm, uh, Martin. I'm a Martin, I'm lead drums. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic! One of those, is it? <laughs> right. Um, okay. Buffalo Riders, relatively newly formed, or you've been going for a while? About what? Four and a half months. Formed up about four or five months. Back when I was a boy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, have you uh, have you actually been gigging? And uh, what do you think of Birmingham venues in general? Yeah, we've been we've been gigging for years with separate bands. Yeah. Like I said, joined together about five months ago. Mm. Yeah. Um, no, it's gone quick. Yeah. <laughs> Birmingham seems Birmingham. pretty new to me, but it's quite cool look. I mean, yeah. I'm making a fat lot of money out of it, but uh, <laughs> it's enjoyable. <laughs> well, the shades look good. Yeah, but, yeah. So we'll I get to wear shades indoors. When you do play local venues, uh, you'd normally book by promoters and agents? Yeah, pretty much. And you um, normally get on with them? What do you think of the state of promotion in Birmingham? <laughs> you like that? Yeah. Some are good, some uh -huh. are for the cash. Is, uh, yeah, some, are some, are some don't even turn up. Some don't even turn yeah. up to your gig. Mm. Yeah, geez, nah, we did one where we don't even turn up. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's money, money, money. And never paid us. If I see you, I'll kick you. <laughs> 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 Have you ever played outside of Birmingham? Uh, <sighs> what do you class? I have. Um, yeah, I have I'll, I'll go for Birmingham Midlands, Sandlot. Sort of, mm. no, you get really. in the area. No, no, no. not really. No. Well, we were supposed to, but uh, someone was seen circumstances. Martin was ill, so we couldn't go to Manchester and play. Okay, well, Martin on lead drums. <laughs> <laughs> lead drums, okay. Yeah. Uh, I know you've previously been into studios and recorded, you've not got anything ready for this, but how did you find the whole release process and what did you do with your last recordings? Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, we no, them, didn't we? Like, they're out there. We stuck them on our tunes. Right, okay. Uh, you did that yourselves? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I entered the competition so we could do it for free. <laughs> okay, and I won. Okay. And you won. <laughs> and we, just, we printed them onto a load of CDs and we just handed them out at our first gig and that just all got snapped up in the first 30 seconds it was on the table. They all got up. Because we're awesome. Think, uh, <laughs> we did the new lineup now with me recently just joining the band and placing the singer. We're gonna get in the studio ASAP, aren't we? We'll we're, tell we're, you Tuesday, we're, we're gonna. <laughs> John, John's not actually yet done a gig with us. No, no, my, my first gig with the band's on yeah. fourth, mm. um, and we're gonna be recording soon with, with my voice and harmonica on. So. Um, yeah. When Simon gets back from his piss up in Germany. <laughs> yeah, yes, another one. <laughs> um, yeah, because I've, I've heard the change of direction is very, very different for you, isn't it? So describe the music that you play now. It's, it's not your generic power chord. Crap that's out there now. Um, <laughs> I know what to say. I'm not going to say the name. Yeah. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot more riff based, dirtier. Um, kind of like Blackstone yeah. Cherry. Yeah. Words, I've said with a bit of like sixties Vietnam War era music in, with some harp and, and check off. Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. That's quite. I don't know. Look. I suppose if you was to strip it down to its bare essentials, yeah, so. essentially it's blue rock right. professional. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's some, we've got like a uh, more mellow subtle side and then, well, them seem to be the riffs that I seem to write and Mark comes in with the uh, dirty run at it and kick it in the bollocks riffs. <laughs> so, I've got yeah. some new riffs in my head, some new lyrics, inspirations for like new songs and I, I definitely think it's kind of like a mix of, you've got like 60s canned heat sort of stuff and yeah. you know, mixed in with some modern Blackstone Cherry, some harp in there. Creed. 
It's dirty. That's just Jay-Z. one way to describe it. Dirty stone yeah, and blues rock. That's fantastic. <laughs> It's music. <laughs> it's music, music. The roots spawned into the modern age. <laughs> so uh, you got some near-term priorities as a, a new band. Uh, I take it you're getting into the studio and then just trying to get your music out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I mean what I'd like to do is get like do these run of gigs we've got booked, um, and then have a quiet period of just writing, yeah. amass as much material as we can. Because if you've got the tunes there, um, obviously you can record it. <laughs> Um, yeah. So yeah. Um, this yeah. agency or whatever competition you won to self-release, did they sort out your PRS, your copyrights? Your no, your no, stuff? we've done that ourselves, pretty much. The competition was just some crap on Facebook. And it was just, <laughs> it was just literally to get a code, and they just literally gave me a code to go onto this website where you could just put it off or nothing. Okay. So uh, did you do you know which um, which distributor you used? Oh, in a word, no. Ditto music. It was ditto. Ditto, okay. ditto music. Fantastic. Have you seen any return from that yet? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. A little bit, yeah. Because they've only sent me the returns for the last two weeks of sales, which is fuck all, really. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, what one thing that would make the greatest difference to your band if someone could offer it? Um, it's the same as every band, it's got to be a record label or something like that, isn't it? Someone can come across and give you a deal to to gig for a living. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be so Anything bad. that would enable me to quit my job and do this <laughs> permanently. Oh, Re- realistically, if we don't end up with much after, it's invested back in the band. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. Really. You, you know yeah. what I mean? Everything we've earned, we just keep as a kitty and yeah. we're going to use that for recording. You need to have some money for yourself, you need to. Um, a fair bit more. More than what we're earning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, as a last question, just tell everybody where they can find you on Facebook or uh, email or Facebook. Website. Just search Buffalo Riders. Um, BuffaloRiders.co.uk is the website. Um, where else? We're on Reverb Nation. Does yeah. anybody go on there anymore? I don't think so. Uh, MySpace? Oh no. Oh, MySpace. <laughs> don't look at our MySpace page, it's crap. The, uh, <laughs> no, no, but look at the yeah. Just YouTube. stick with the website, buffalorogers.co.uk. Yeah. Okay. All the good shit's on there. Updated soon. New and pictures, I built that. Videos. It's been noted. <laughs> Took me fucking ages. It's only one page. Right. <laughs> Cheers for your time. I know you're packing up, ready to go. And uh, we will catch up with you soon. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right.